is now that time for you to hear what flows through my mind, guided from above with messages of love. Ready to go? Welcome to Ruby's Mindful Tarot. Hello everybody, hope you've had a lovely week so far. So today is the colour brown. So this reading is for those of you who are drawn to the colour brown, maybe recently or it could be your favourite colour. Let me know. But either way, the colour theme is brown. So before you begin, we're going to do four mindful breaths and then we'll start with the cards. So hand on your heart, hand on your stomach or both, whichever is comfortable. And let's start. So inhaling in through the nose and then exhaling through the mouth letting go of any stress or any worries that you've been holding on to and again so breathing in and exhaling continue and once more okay i'm hearing the word soft so that could be your energy today, or maybe just the energy of this reading. It's soft, it's not too, um, it's not too hard, it's not too stressful, it's just soft. Soft like soil, which is brown. Okay, so before I started this video, I did some spirit writings, but we'll come on to that a bit later. Actually, I feel to do that now. Okay, so these are the words and the little drawings that I channeled for you. We've got the word sudden in capitals. We've got time frame. So maybe some of you were thinking or wondering about a time frame for something, or maybe that thing happened suddenly. But either way, we've got sudden, time frame. We've got not expected, but it's here. So something you wasn't expecting, but now it's here. And then just a few drawings here. That's a little flower down there. These are some squiggles. Let me know if any of you relate to these drawings or maybe you, if some of you like doodling, maybe some of it looks like this. We'll come on to that again later. Okay. Right. Continue breathing, continue breathing. I feel like you're a gentle group. So those of you who are drawn to this reading, you're a gentle group. Very gentle and soft. Okay, that's it. Right. We'll come on to them in a minute. I'll shuffle some other cards that I feel drawn to. Um, I'm hearing brown, brown, no more frown. <laughs> so if some of you have been quite down <laughs> recently, uh, this is a time or this message is letting you know that that's coming to an end soon. So brown, brown, no more frown. You won't have to frown anymore. Okay. hearing let them choose so I'll let you choose which card and then I'll flip that over later so I'll keep that here okay the top one one of these Ooh. and there it is okay We'll start with this one. So this is a Moonology card. It says, take time to breathe out. 
So if some of you have been quite stressed, this is a message letting you know it's time to relax, time to breathe, be soft with yourself. So if you've been too hard, um, or yeah, if you've been too hard on yourself, try to be softer. Try to be softer with yourself. We've got two of wands. So this is the original tarot deck, two of wands. And of course, wands are brown. Searching for stability, I'm hearing and seeing. You might have been searching for some stability in some way. I'll come on to the rest of those cards in a minute. We've got Cancer. That's perfect. So the Cancer card um, is all about nurturing, comfort, protection, motherly. So similar to this card of being soft with yourself. Try and have some of this energy, Cancer energy of being gentle, kind, again, soft, motherly, nurturing. So take some time to nurture yourself, maybe have a nice bath, um, watch your favorite film or anything that you like to do, do that, definitely. We've got Pluto, that's all about transformation of some sort and with your spirit messages. That kind of makes sense with the sudden. There'll be a sudden transformation. Um, so again, not expected, but it's here. So that's linked with this. I'll let you choose your card now. Okay. So I'll pick up each of these cards and then you just say which one you feel drawn to. And then I'll, of course, read them all out. Okay, so there's this one. So this message for you is trust. This one. This message is action. So maybe you need to take action with something. This one, your message is to refine, refine your thinking in some way, refine what you think, refine what you think you know, that's what I'm hearing, this one, it's time for you to reflect. Time for you to reflect on the recent past, reflect on it, learn some lessons perhaps. And there's this one. Your message is to celebrate something worth celebrating. You, that's what I'm hearing. You need to celebrate yourself a bit more. This one, receive, open your hands and your heart and be ready to receive what's coming. Again, with the spirit messages, not expected, but it's here, something sudden is coming for you or coming to you. So be ready to receive whatever it is, be ready. This one, a tulip. Tulip. Some of you have tulips in your house, I'm hearing. Okay, your message is to reset. So similar to that message before of taking time out, breathing, nurturing, resetting yourself. Close your eyes, have a bit more sleep. And this one. Breathe. Perfect one to end on, similar to this card. Take time to breathe out, breathe. Okay, let's see what your animal card is now. Oh, lovely. You have dear spirit. You've got dear spirit. The message is bring a gentle touch. That's absolutely perfect. I'll just show you these three cards. So 
cancer card of being a motherly figure to yourself, being gentle and kind and nurturing, the message of taking time to breathe out, and also the message of bringing a gentle touch. So some of you, or well, maybe all of you, need to be a bit more gentle and soft with yourself, as I mentioned earlier. Let me see now. Give me a moment while I channel the messages from these cards. It's over soon. That's what I'm hearing. So that's the Ten of uh, Swords. It's over soon. So again, I do feel like most of you have been working yourselves too hard, um, causing you to feel like this, but it is going to be over soon because you will be looking after yourself a bit more. But yeah, you've been working yourself quite hard, quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Justice is coming for you. Balance, balance with your workload, balance with your mental state as well. So if you've been stressing too much, that will come into balance very soon. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I feel like some of you have been worrying about what's coming next. Worrying about what's to come or when it's coming. Hmm, yeah. When is it coming? When will it happen? It will happen suddenly, that's your message, when you're least expecting it. So again, back to your spirit messages, not expected, but it's here. So it is coming, whatever it is that you're hoping to come. Um, it will be sudden. Try not to worry too much about the time frame. Um, but yeah, it will be here for you. Okay, let me see. Number one. I'm hearing to say. So that's a penny. Of course, it's brown. But yeah, number one, if that means anything to you. Doing what you need to do. I'm also hearing that. That's seven of swords there. Doing what you need to do. So let me know what that means for you. Of course, every, it will mean something different to everybody. And then Pluto, transformation. So whatever is coming towards you, um, whether you view that as positive or negative, it will be as part of your transformation. You'll be growing spiritually and also just practically and normally within yourself, you're growing. Um, you have a strong message to be gentle with yourself, a bit more kind, a bit more motherly and nurturing and soft, definitely soft. If some of you have been working too hard, Try and bring that a bit more into balance, but do know that will be over soon. All the hard working, the stress, it will be over soon. Justice is coming for that, for you. Again, try not to worry too much about time frames or what's coming or when it's coming. Don't worry. Just try to breathe, relax, look after yourself, and what's meant to come for you will come for you. You don't need to force it, you don't need to rush, you don't need to panic or stress or um, worry yourself too much. Just relax knowing that what is for you is coming and just be ready to receive. Yeah. Mischievous, I'm also hearing that as well. Maybe some of you have been mischievous in some way. Yep, yeah. that's that message. Okay, mischievous at work, I'm hearing. Whatever that means, it could just mean a minor thing or I'm not sure, but mischievous at work a little bit. So maybe you um, like to see yourself as the kind of light at work, the person who maybe makes a lot of jokes or likes to lift the mood in some way or be mischievous in a kind of funny, gentle way. Yeah, that's just coming through. Okay, give me a moment. Let me see if there's anything else for you. Okay, Capricorns. Some of you are Capricorns, which makes sense. That's a very hardworking energy. 
So like I said, you might have been working yourself too hard. And you might have felt like you had no other choice, that you had to work that hard. But again, just know this is coming for you, justice. Well, that's one of the things that's coming for you. Justice is coming and it will be sudden. Again, don't worry about that time frame because it will come when you're least expecting it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, quite a few of you are Capricorns. For some of you, not all, but some of you, it could be relating to pregnancy. So not so. this message would relate to you in that way for some of you. Not expected, but it's here. So some of you might be having an unplanned pregnancy. Something else will be coming up for you. Mm. So if some of you are in a current opportunity or a current situation that is making you feel quite down and a bit, um, a bit unsure and just down in general, something else is coming after that. That's what I'm seeing from this picture here. So there's one here that's quite down. If you're in a situation that's making you feel like that, just know that something sudden, something sudden right after is coming for you, which will be more successful, make you more happy. And a sudden visitor, that's what I'm also hearing. A surprise, like someone might be visiting you, giving you a surprise maybe a gift of some sort, but I am just hearing the word surprise. Yeah. Okay, that's your message, Brown Group. I know that was quick for today, but I do feel that that was your message. I'll give a brief summary, and that's that. Also, if some of you have plants, um, try to be near to them a bit more during this time, or if some of you are interested in plants, but you don't have them nearby, Look into getting some plants in some way, or maybe growing some growing some plants. Um, so buying some seeds and then, of course, putting it in soil, nurturing that and allowing that to grow. Um, I feel that would be good for your self-care as well, self-care practices. Okay, let me give you a summary now. Actually, I'm drawn to this. Okay, so this is an egg. <laughs> Uh, crystal egg, jasper, uh, look after yourself as if you, you are this egg. So hold, your, hold yourself close, protect yourself, nurture yourself, try not to uh, just leave yourself there like that to just roll away. <laughs> Do look after yourself, that's a strong message. Okay, so that leads on to this again. So bringing a gentle touch with yourself taking time to breathe out and nurturing yourself, as I just mentioned. Some of you could be a Cancer as well, the sign of a Cancer, or it could be your moon sign or somewhere else in your natal chart. Again, some others of you could be Capricorns or have that type of energy of always working very hard and feeling exhausted. That's coming to an end soon. Justice, justice is coming for you. That will make you feel more balanced, more harmonious. Try not to worry too much about time frames or what's coming or what's not coming. Um, try to just be patient, be in a receiving energy. Uh, in this image, I'm being drawn to the hands. So this hand, he's holding on to this and the other hand, he's holding on to a globe. For your reading, I'm channeling that the globe represents a clock. So you're waiting on the time, when will it happen? You're watching the clock here, and then this hand, you're, you're ready, like you're holding on. Your message is to let that go. Don't worry about the time frame or the clock, and try not to grasp too tightly. Just let go, wait and receive for what's coming for you. And what is coming for you will be transformative.
That's another reason why you need to rest and breathe out right now. So that you so that you have enough energy for when this thing comes. And whatever this thing is, it is of course different for all of you watching. Some of you, it really is just justice and peace and balance that's coming quite suddenly. Again, some of you, it could be a pregnancy. Um, some of you, it's a surprise of some sort, maybe a visitor. Or you might see someone that you haven't seen in, in a long time, like an old friend. Um, and for others, um, your current situation, if it's been making you feel down, there is another opportunity that will bring you higher quite quickly. Yeah. Again, some of you at work or just in your life generally, um, you like to be a bit mischievous and funny. Um, yeah, that's just what I'm channeling from this card. Hmm. And for some of you, I'm just channeling, it's time for you to go. Leave the circus. That's what I'm seeing. Leave the circus. So if your current situation involves you being around others who um, has a lot of drama that you, of course, don't want to be around, then try and make those steps in leaving. Taking what you need and just leaving. Leaving that situation. Here. Definitely nurture yourself. This is a moonstone. Moonstone crystal, a kind of goldy brown one. If some of you have this, then hold that close to you as well. Some of you might be seeing pennies. I'm hearing pick it up. It's a sign from the universe, your spirit guides. Um, yeah, they might be leaving pennies. So if appropriate to do so, then you could pick that up and just save it in your house. Maybe leave it near a plant if you have one. Um, yeah, and that was another, another message from earlier to be a bit closer to your plants if you can. Maybe tend to them a bit more or have more plants in your home, especially in the bedroom I'm hearing. Have some plants there um, it will raise the energy. I'm hearing that as well. So the plants will raise your energy. And moonstone as well. Moonstone crystal. Okay, thank you. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely evening or whatever time it is whenever you watch this. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> thank you. I shall see you next week with another colour group. Um, and yeah, just definitely be gentle with yourself. I feel called to show you this again. So dear spirit, bringing a gentle touch, gentle touch, and if that even means to just give yourself a little hug every now and then, that's okay, do that if you feel you need to. Okay, thank you, bye bye.